off today. My name is Nick and welcome to another episode of the Side Quest. Today's beer is called Hadel by Carabao Brewing. Now Hadel is an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with coconut and cacao nibs. It is 9.9% ABV and 22 IBUs. Brewed by Carabao Brewing here on Guam. I love the name of this beer and I love the label. Hadel actually refers to the Hadel zone of the ocean, which is the deepest part of the ocean. It is anywhere from 20,000 feet to 36,000 feet. And the deepest part of the ocean is right in my backyard, the Marianas Trench. Which also brings me to the fish on the label, which I believe is the Marianas Snailfish. It is found in the Marianas Trench and I believe it's the deepest living fish, which is pretty cool. I guess the outer part of this label, you'll see like a topographical map. Uh, here's Guam and there's a dark rift that goes right uh, south of it and it's the Marianas Trench. So I love the local iconography here and I love the, um, I guess the theme that they're going for this beer because the Hadel Zone is, uh, there's no light and hopefully this beer is super dark. Uh, but let's talk about the beer itself. It is aged in a St. George spirit barrel for four, uh, for four months. I don't know about that spirit company. I don't know what, what uh, bourbon they make. But they also conditioned it on uh, toasted coconut and Ghanaian cacao nibs. Now I don't really know what to expect from uh, Carabao Brewing's uh, Imperial Stouts. I've had an Irish Stout from them which is uh, okay. And uh, I think this is the first time I'm going to have anything on Guam or from Guam that has been uh, bourbon barrel aged. Uh, I know Ben from Carabao is a seasoned brewer and I'm pretty sure this is going to turn out really well. I'm really enjoying seeing the local breweries uh, around me, uh, I guess, add more things or add more uh, styles to their, I guess, their offerings. and. Uh, I'm especially happy to see what they do with uh, barrel aging uh, here on the island. So hopefully this is uh, pretty good. I'm excited to try it out. Uh, so let's pop this open and I'll be right back after the pour. I'm not actually using a tulip glass today, I'm just using a Carabao's, I think it's like a pint glass or sort of like a pint glass. Uh, I like using the brewery's uh, glassware when I can and this is the one I got so I'm going to use it. Uh, anyway, this beer at the beginning had a lot of head, it kind of died down, it's been a, like at least a minute or two minutes and it, it has a nice, uh, I think maybe a quarter of an inch head on, on this glass and I think it started out as like at least an inch. In, in a small glass. I know it's different than Tulip uh, because Tulip has more surface area, uh, but this still retained um, a good amount of head, at least a little bit more than I thought. But I put this up to the light. I can't see through it at all. I don't even see anything on the fringes, if I'm honest. Uh, so it kind of earns its name, Hadel, super dark, super black. But yeah, looks pretty interesting. So let's put a nose on it. Awesome, this actually smells really good. Getting a lot of like coffee and a little bit of sweet notes coming through. Uh, you do definitely get that roasted uh, malt, malt aroma coming off of it. There's a little bit of like an alcohol uh, kind of aroma, but I don't know if that's what it is. Uh, it is 9.9%, so it's kind of it's kind of a big one, but I'm not too sure if this sharpness, sort of like a sharp uh, smell coming off of it is the alcohol. Yeah, and then I'm definitely getting something like slightly sweet. Maybe that's the chocolate that's kind of coming through. Surprised I don't get any of the coconut. Uh, but I hope it's inside of the beer, the flavor at least. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to drink this. So cheers. So the beer is not bad. On the first sip, I'm getting uh, like the mouthfeel is a really, uh, I think a medium, almost 
yeah, it's just like a medium. It's not even thin, it's not thick at all. Uh, I wasn't expecting either or, um, and I'm, I'm happy at the at this medium uh, mouthfeel and body that uh, this beer is uh, drinking at. Um, the, the thing that I can describe, at least for me, is that it's very mild. Like, I was, I was kind of expecting a little bit stronger uh, coconut, uh, obviously some of that uh, cacao sweetness, uh, but I didn't get really get either. I also really didn't get the um, uh, like any more like super strong roasted quality coming off of it. And then by the finish, I got like some bitterness, which I wasn't expecting. I mean, at 22, it's a little bit there, it should be noticeable, but it's a lot more noticeable than what I was thinking. And then um, you know, the alcohol does come through, which is kind of weird because I'm used to drinking like anything like 12% beers and usually the alcohol doesn't, um, isn't as strong. Um, I wish I got a little bit more barrel out of this beer. It's not a lot, uh, but they did only age it for four months, so maybe that's, uh, Maybe that's an issue as well. But yeah, there's that. There's definite heat coming off of it, and it's not bad. I mean, when you put anything in a bourbon barrel, even though it's like 12%, you're going to get a little bit. It is going to come up a little bit, so uh, I, I get it. But yeah, on my, on my third sip, uh, I'm still just getting basically the same things um, as I said before. And then there's a little bit more bitterness coming off of it, and then I think the bitterness might be it, like an alcohol bitterness or spirit bitterness. I think anytime I come into beer, I have to like temper my expectations of what it is because I'm really used to excessive stouts that like have a ton of coconut in it and a ton of chocolate and those really sweet, um, those really sweet pastry style beers that I'm used to. And this is not one of them, but it's not trying to be. So like this is a very um, good imperial stout, and then they added a little bit of adjuncts to it and add, put it in a barrel, and it, it came out. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure exactly how they wanted. Um, like I've said before, I'm not necessarily, uh, I'm not a brewer, so I don't know what these processes are like. Um, but as a consumer of, of a lot of really good beers, um, I was expecting a little bit more out of it, but that's my fault. And uh, I need to start tempering my expectations when it comes to a lot more, more beers because, uh, because probably that's not the brewer's intention to uh, have like such a strong uh, coconut or a strong sweetness in their beer. I guess I would say I'm a more of a pastry uh, style person, uh, but this is really good too. I'm, I'm really uh, happy to see Carabao put out uh, a bourbon uh, barrel aged stout, and I hope they experiment with crazier stuff in the future, hopefully a pastry one. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. If you're on Guam and you can find this beer or they still have it in stock, pick up Hadel by Carabao.